Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining Dan and I in our Vortical One webinar series. It's always a pleasure to have you folks join us. Uh, today's topic is call recording. Uh, we're gonna give folks a few more minutes to join. So we'll start off with some introductions. I'm Kyle, I'm a project manager of Vodacall. I onboard brand new customers. I see some familiar names here, new names. So thank you everybody for joining. As always, Dan is with us. Hello there, I am uh, Dan. Uh, I've uh, been with Vodacall for, I don't know, 20 some odd years now uh, since we started. And I've held quite a few different positions here. Uh, currently, I, uh, I run our pre-sales engineering and uh, I too see some familiar faces as always. Uh, so again, thank you guys for coming. Uh, this is a, uh, it really is nice that you guys keep uh, coming back for some of these and to let us uh, show you some new features or functionality that maybe you didn't know existed in the Vodacall One solution. Absolutely. All right, a few housekeeping items before we jump right in. Uh, in the bottom right corner of your screen, you'll have a questions tab. If you have any questions, feel free to submit them. Only Dan and I can see your questions and we'll answer them as we go along. Uh, right next to that is a polls tab. Uh, for those who join us regularly, we'll notice the polls a little different today. Uh, so I guess kind of keep an eye on uh, Dan's head. <laughs> and uh, if you click on the apps tab to the left of the polls, uh, then click on links, you'll see we added links here to uh, some of our web pages. Uh, we have a link to the My Vodacall portal, a uh, link to our video training library, a link for our 24 seven support, a link to our previous webinars, and a, a link to our customer love page. Um, if, if you're joining us for the first time, if you wanna watch any of our previous webinars, by all means, click on that link. We have a library of webinars. And if you watch those webinars, uh, webinars and uh, as you go through this one, or we go through this one, if you have any questions, feel free to send an email to support at vodacall.com and we'll schedule a time to have a, a conversation with you as well. Uh, then feel free to take a look at our customer love page. It's where uh, customers say nice, th nice things about us. <laughs> and we're always happy to add to that. So if you're willing to add to that, by all means, let us know. We'll gladly add you to our customer love page. Okay. Well, I guess we'll uh, jump right into the call recording stuff. Sounds so what are, we, what are we learning today? We'll do an overview of call recording. We'll show you some features of call recording. We'll hop into my vote call portal. We'll show you, show you some tips and tricks along the way, and uh, we'll share resources and training materials, hence you'll find that in the links tab, and we'll have a slide towards the end with that links as well. Uh, so why call recording? Uh, Dan's gonna go over some of these uh, bullet points for us. Okay, terrific. Um, hello, everybody. And uh, yes, I'm just gonna second what Kyle said. Uh, if you wanna you know, uh, join us or become one of our stories on the customer love page, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, you know, we are not one of the big box stores. We don't do a lot of, uh, we're not a big marketing engine uh, to say. Uh, we get most of our business through referrals uh, or through our partners. And, uh, you know, folks telling their stories on our customer love page is a great way to do that. So I'm really happy that we added that link in there. By all means, go read some stories. And uh, if you'd like to be part of it, just let us know. Um, but why call recording? Okay, so a couple different reasons. Um, obviously, training and coaching purposes is one. Okay, so that is going to be from, uh, you know, you hire a new employee and, uh, you know, it usually costs you quite a bit of money to onboard somebody. Um, and then, you know, in the old days, maybe they would sit next to someone in the office or, you know, they were close. We weren't working remotely or and they could hear kind of half the conversation and someone to bring them in on it or. Uh, they put the call on speakerphone, et cetera. But while you're onboarding somebody, it's great to be able to kind of listen to phone calls um, and have somebody actually listening to what somebody's doing, shadowing a rep, et cetera. Um, you know, and uh, from a coaching perspective, um, you can also go through, if you're a supervisor, you can go through, listen to some phone calls. Maybe people, maybe your, uh, your employees are tagging their calls that they want you to listen to. And we'll show you some of that stuff in just a little while. Now, from a quality assurance perspective, Customer calls in and complains or mentions the fact that, uh, you know, um, you know, they think the call went one way and you're you're thinking the call went the other way. Quality assurance is a way to just kind of go back, listen to that call uh, and just make sure that we're all on the same page with regards to what uh, what actually happened there and that, that people are, are saying the right things. And if they're not, we can go back to training and coaching. Maybe we can coach them up. 
Uh, so playback for review and notes is more of an agent feature, right? So um, you want to play back a call, you want to review it, maybe take some notes on it. Maybe you're taking an order and you miss it and you want to go back, uh, you missed something and you want to go back and just check and listen to the call and make sure they ordered 400 widgets and not 500 widgets because you want to make sure you place the order the order the right way. Uh, you can also think of uh, a paralegal in a, in a law firm maybe uh, is recording a phone call, um, you know, and everybody agrees to that phone call. We'll, we'll touch base on that in just a minute. Um, but they're recording that phone call and you want to just kind of go back and take notes, transcribe that call. There are some services obviously out there that you can use to do that, but this is just a way to do it as well. And last but not least is compliance purposes. Uh, there are some industries and we'll touch upon some of those in a little while that are required from a compliance perspective to uh, record all their calls and to make sure that they retain those calls for certain amounts of time. And again, we'll touch base on that during our case studies. So uh, go ahead, Kyle. All right. So call recording consent, uh, call recording, uh, recording consent varies state by state. Um, there's 38 states that require all party consent. Um, there's also single party consent. Um, there's also one state that has no statute or definitive case law. And this is a trivia question. If you know trivia. what state it is, we will send you a hat. We will see a hat. Starting to wonder why I keep changing hats, but we'll, we'll get to that in just a little bit here. Yeah, so if anybody wants to touch base on that, again, there is, uh, well, hopefully maybe you know, I doubt you know, but it may, you know, someone might surprise me. We're hoping you don't use Google and cheat, but um, at the same time, we do want someone to win. So uh, we're, we're I had to Google and cheat. Oh, look, somebody already oh, answered. Oh, nope. Right? No, that's not Hawaii. That's a great guess. Oh, wow. It, two of them, two Hawaii's. There's not, there's, I know it's two eyes right away. Uh, no, it's, it's a state that's, it, it'll surprise you, you know, when you do Google it. Um, <laughs> oh, Fran, I'm sorry. Oh, we did have a question. Another question come in and that was, uh, can anyone use call recording? Um, and so just to touch on that, the answer is yes. Oh, Tommy, let's go. All right. We have Tommy, a winner, everybody. Ding, ding, ding. Yes, it is Vermont. Vermont has no definitive statute or case law on call recording. Um, so while it's been tried everywhere else and there's been a rule written, Vermont does not have that yet. So um, so, so a hat to you, Tommy, and we'll, we'll talk about that in just a few minutes. Uh, but we were talking about answering that question, um, and, and sorry about that, Pete, but um, to answer your question, yes, anyone can use call recording. Remember that there are solutions called the Vodacall Call One solution, Everything that we're showing you, everything that's available in the webinars uh, is going to be available to you as individuals. Now, that doesn't mean that it's automatically turned on. Um, you know, it's not. So that would be up to your admin uh, to, to go ahead and turn that on for you. Um, if they want to reach out to us, email support at votocall.com and, and let us know that you'd like to start looking at call recording and we can talk about what you want to use it for and the different ways uh, what different ways to do that. Um, or you could just drop a quick uh, question in here uh, just saying, hey, I, I'd like someone to reach out to me after the webinar. We'd be happy to do that. Remember that support with the Vodacall One solution and with Vodacall is always 24-7, 365 and included uh, for the life of your contract. So anything that you need, we're happy to do it for you. All right. Sorry about that, Kyle. All righty. Uh, so some call recording features. Uh, so call recording can be always on or on demand. We can enable call recording on users, your extensions, uh, call queues, and conference bridges. There's the start, stop, and also pause, resume functionality. You know, pause, resume might be for an example as if you're taking a credit card number and you need to pause the recording to take the credit card number and then resume once you take that. Uh, call recording uh, it can be enabled on your desk phone, web phone, and your Vodacall uh, Go Mobile app. You'll have access to recordings in the My Vodacall portal. You can play and download them from the portal. There's also email notifications, which will email you uh, a link for the call recording, which will again bring you to the portal to access the call recording. There's announcements. So announcements would be you know, maybe part of that consent. You know, Sometimes when you call a business, you might hear think, uh, your call might be recorded or monitored for training or quality purposes. That's uh, an announcement for call recording. Then there's also storage. And that's gonna bring us to our next slide. Okay. So, um, big announcement here. 
I blew a whistle. We did this webinar yesterday, and I kind of feel bad if I rip you guys off. So I'm going to blow the whistle again. So we're excited to pass on some information to you guys. Oh, yay. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> and you guys might be wondering why I have one of those. It's because I'm a big David Lee Roth fan. Um, but uh, let's um, – nobody come at me with Sammy Hagar now, please. I'm not ready for that. <laughs> um, all right. So let's uh, call call recording and storage. So if you were to look in your MSA, traditionally we've always said that we will record, uh, record for free for 60 days. You get storage for 60 days. Uh, we, we have just this month bumped that up to 90 days worth of storage. Uh, and that is for free for you. So we'll hold on to your calls for 90 days. Now, for some folks who are on here and you might say to yourself, well, wait a minute, I've got calls in there that are older than 90 days already. Um, yes, we will be uh, we will be reaching out to some folks about that um, and uh, and and going over that with you. But we are going to be uh, it. It has always been listed as 60 days. We've upped it to 90. Uh, but we do offer extended storage now for as long as you want. Uh, at $35 a month uh, per company. So you have two locations, you're still one company, $35 a month, and we'll hang on to your recordings for an extended period of time. Um, but again, uh, don't worry about it right now. We will be reaching out to some folks uh, who have recordings older than 90 days, uh, just to let them know, uh, just to figure out which way they want to go. Um, now, if you didn't want to pay the $35 a month, we do actually, we can store in your own storage. It'll still be available to you in the Vodacall, in the My Vodacall portal. Portal, um, and, and we'll still you'll still view everything the same way, but you can store in your own storage, and that way you don't have to either a pay the thirty five dollars a month if you need to store things for a long time. Um, and we'll talk about that in our finance. We, some of our finance clients actually need to store things for uh, close to seven years or seven years, um, actually. So um, now they might, a, a lot of them actually will hook up to a third party storage. So how, where can we do that? Well, we can do that through AWS S3 Standard, AWS S3 Glacier, or Wasabi. So those are going to be three products out there that we can go to. And then anything really that supports the protocols of FTP, FTPS, and SFTP. I know that's a lot of acronyms. And some of you guys are going, what is he talking about right now? And that's great. Um, if you had offsite storage and you were the person in charge of that, uh, you would know exactly what I just said. But um, it's basically just, um, you know, file transfer protocols. So um, that is available to you guys as well. And again, we're excited about being able to offload that storage for folks who really want to hang on to things for a long time and don't want us to do it for them. Okay. Awesome. A uh, question came in. Uh, is there any charges for using call recording um, besides the uh, the storage fee? Uh, no, that would be that that same, you know, can anyone use call recording? Yes. Is there any charges? No. Um, as many of you guys will know, or maybe you were with us or you've been with us a long time, our older platform did have call recording uh, charges associated with it. Uh, and those are gone now. It is no longer a license. It is just something that you need. So if you ever need it, you can call in and they can turn it on for you pretty much immediately. Um, I say pretty much because, you know, it's just a little warning. Everyone who used to call us for a call, this is a, the little story here. Anyone who used to call us and say, I need to be able to record a phone call. Um, it would always be a phone call that was starting in like seven minutes. Um, and, and so, uh, you know, one of the reasons that we include it now is just to, is to make sure that we can meet the needs of those folks. Um, nice. Okay. All right. So we're going to hop into the My Vodacall portal, show you a little bit of the call recording. Um, if you probably haven't noticed a, a common theme here with our webinars, we're spending a lot of time in the My Vodacall portal showing you that. Um, so I'm going to turn off my camera and share my screen. And while Kyle does that, um, you know, the My Vodacall portal is something that's really the reason for this webinar series is to familiarize folks with what do we have that's available to them that they might not even know. Um, and, you know, usually it ends up right here in the My Vodacall portal. It is a, is a wonderful tool uh, that offers a lot, um, you know, in terms of being able to access any features and functionality that, that we talk about in these webinars. You can do it through the portal, whether it's SMS or personal faxing or recording or managing music on hold or launching the web phone, working from home. All of these things are right here in the portal. You want to call history, you want to call reports all in the portal. So it, it's such a powerful tool. And, you know, you'll see that there's a link for it down there. If you've never been, um, by all means, uh, you know, reach out to us and we can get you a password if you don't have one. 
a lot of folks are set up to sign on with uh, single sign on uh, because we support that as well. So you can use your email credentials. Uh, but if you've never used the portal, please try to engage with it. Um, you'll, you'll see that it uh, gives you a lot of powerful tools. Absolutely. All right. So for call recordings, uh, once you're finished with the phone call, you're going to find your call recordings in your call history tab. So we'll navigate there. And here's your call history. Now, over here to the right to each call, uh, you're going to see some bubbles. Um, you'll have the ability to download the call recording. You have the ability to play it right from the portal. You can also uh, slow down the playback speed if you needed to as well. Um, so this would be uh, where you can ask, uh, make notes to and add disposition codes. So for example, I'm logged into my end user portal. So if I wanted just to make a note on this particular call, I can hit this edit notes button. I can also select disposition codes, and that would also be for like a call center functionality or agent functionality. So, for example, I can make this one, you know, I had a, a demo scheduled with a call with a client, and I could make a note that says the demo is scheduled for 2.29 at 1 p.m. And I did not spell scheduled correctly, but that's how it goes. <laughs> we'll click save, and there's my uh, note in disposition on my call recording now. There's also, uh, for example, if I was a call center agent and I made a note on this call to be reviewed, I would set the status to review and say, hey, it was a good call. Now I'm actually going to hand my screen over to Dan to show you what that looks like from the supervisor view. Okay. Thanks, Kyle. And I'll go ahead and uh, turn off my camera here. I don't know if you guys have been catching me uh, changing hats here. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that in just a couple of minutes. But again, we've been, uh, we've been changing hats and styles of hats here. Uh, but we will we will address that. I am a man of many hats, uh, but <laughs> these two today. Um, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop sharing my screen and uh, excuse me, stop sharing my uh, camera, and I'm going to go ahead and I will share my screen. Just give me one second. Okay. Oh sure. It's going to be this one here. So um, Kyle was just mentioning um, the idea that, so he was in as an end user or an agent. Um, so his screen looked more like this one right here, right? So this was the one he had with the call center capabilities and the messaging and the fax, et cetera. But I'm logged in now as a supervisor. So supervisors can be given the ability to listen to and view and monitor uh, agents as well as uh, check on people's phone calls. So if I go to call history, it's gonna start as my user. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kick it out of my user. Um, and I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna say, okay, I wanna check in on uh, the uh, webinar user, which is the user that Kyle's been using. And I wanna go ahead and just do that for the last couple of days, let's say. Uh, so we'll say since Friday. Okay, um, and we'll go ahead and filter those calls. Now this screen is gonna look very familiar to you. So even though I'm logged in as me, I'm, I have supervisory rights. Um, and what I have the ability to do is look at these calls and I can go through and I can say, oh, look, there's a call that Kyle wants me to review. He says it's a good call. So I can go ahead and listen to that click here. And by the way, as I start to listen to it, I can move it around to different parts of the phone call if I want to. And I can listen to that phone call. Again, if I think it's a fabulous phone call, maybe what I'll do is I'll go into here and I'll download that. Maybe I keep an archive of calls that I can play to new on, you know, onboard reps, uh, folks coming in so that we can kind of keep an archive and be like, here, listen to these five calls as part of your training. These are great calls. Um, you know, and then maybe I want them to listen to another one that says, hey, we scheduled the demo here. And I might archive a couple of those calls where all the right things were said. Um, occasionally, maybe I want to listen to one of these where it doesn't say good. It says, you know, uh, you know, bad. And maybe there's just a call that you want me to listen to because this was a situation that happened today and you want a little advice on how to handle it. So you shoot me a quick text and say, hey, can you go listen to that call? I flagged bad and let me know what I should do. All right, so I might go listen to that. But again, this is just a, a slightly different view. The third view is obviously gonna be the office manager view. Um, and the office manager view uh, can see recorded calls, uh, which is the admin for the, for this, the, for the uh, whole group, can see them, but they can't play them back. Now, sometimes the admin is also a supervisor and we need to open up playback capabilities uh, and we can do that, but typically office managers are not permitted to actually listen to phone calls. So I hope that helps there. Just to, again, just another quick view into some of the things that we have the capability to do here. Excellent. All right. 
So next slide, we're gonna go over some customer success stories. We have a few uh, examples here. We got a BBZ, Limo, a BBZ Limo, Vineyard Vines, and the financial vertical. Okay, so we'll start with BBZ Limo. Um, a very common we've had, we have a lot of uh, limousine companies, uh, transportation companies um, in, in general um, that use uh, our system and use the call recording aspect of it. Typically, that's going to be for reservations. You know, you have somebody who's taking a reservation, making a reservation inside of a reservation system. They confirm all the information and then they want to, you know, they want to just go back, listen to it again, make sure that they got all the information right. Maybe the person was speaking quickly, um, you know, and they just want to confirm that. Or sometimes there are disputed times when people, you know, call back and say, hey, I've made a reservation for this time or that time. And you just want to kind of go back and listen to the original call and see maybe your agent made a mistake and you just want to make sure that, that you know, that you make up for it uh, moving forward. Um, so again, it's for, that's all those things, coaching, quality and uh, quality assurance, training. Those are going to be the kind of things that, uh, that a service company might use it for. Now, I see there are some service companies on here right now. There's definitely some companies that uh, on this webinar, there's definitely some companies that do some uh, order taking, et cetera. Recording is a great way to handle that, uh, right? So it's a great way to handle just the ability to go ahead and listen back in case there ever is a dispute of any description. Uh, you know, we, we, we've definitely in the past, we've had some, uh, some companies that supply uh, job site materials, you know, and all of a sudden somebody calls in and orders a bunch of job site materials at eight o'clock at night and you express rush out to the job site for the next morning and they call back and say, oh, I didn't need that stuff. I didn't order that. And you're like, wait a minute. I have a recorded call that says that you did order that. Um, not to say that people will ever uh, lie. Everybody is truthful and, and everybody is um, always, always on the up and up, but it is always good to have a phone call. Um, okay. So the next one that we'll do would be Vineyard Vines. We, we actually focus on them a lot. Um, you know, obviously a flagship client that started with us uh, with a call center with about five people in it and has grown over the years, uses a lot of our features and functionality from remote workers, to call centers, to reporting, to, and lo and behold, recording. Um, again, they've been recording their calls a long time. They're definitely one of those companies that when you call into, if you call in, um, it says your call may be monitored or recorded for quality and training purposes. Always great to be able to tell, like go back and figure out, you know, hey, where did we make a mistake in the order? Did we send the wrong size? Did we flag something down wrong? Uh, but again, just to have that have that understanding so that you can figure out where the discrepancies are, where the training is needed. Um, you know, so that's another good one. And last but not least is going to be our finance vertical. Now, I mentioned this just a little while ago. Um, you know, we have uh, Vodacall, as you may or may not know. I don't know uh, if everybody here, I think, is based in the States. But we do do uh, we do have companies that have stateside offices and then offices in other countries as well. The UK being one of those countries that we have quite a few finance clients in or finance clients offices in, um, the UK requires that if you're talking about finance with somebody or, or processing transactions, you actually have to save those calls for seven years. Okay, so that is another reason why we have that offsite storage capability uh, for folks so that they can store these things in their own buckets and then, you know, they don't have to worry about it, um, you know, in the future, if they ever need a call seven years from now and they're only with us for five years, God forbid, uh, we do like to think that they'll be with us seven years from now, but that doesn't always happen, but they'll still have access to their calls, right? So you've got uh, the finance vertical is another big one where, where you're where you're making those kind of uh, calls, you need to store that stuff for compliance. Okay. Um, and I think that that is the end of this here. We'll open it up to questions. And then, but I think maybe as you guys start to type in your questions and before we answer those, it would be great. You may have noticed here that throughout this uh, webinar, I have been uh, swapping hats. Um, you know, we as a uh, company, um, I, I think we have at least two or three employees who have always uh, fashioned themselves or uh, fashioned themselves. I get it. Um, have, <laughs> have always uh, had a side hustle or wanted to have a side hustle of being a uh, T-shirt clothing design business. Um, and so, you know, over the years, we, we generate a bunch of swag. Kyle and I have on our Vodacall sweatshirts today. Um, you know, we uh, and you've seen me rocking a couple different hats. Well, it's time for Vodacall to order some new hats. And so there has been a, um, a back and forth as to which hats we should order this time through. So when we were thinking about our poll this month uh, and thinking, you know, 
thinking about what we wanted to put on it for normally the poll, by the way, is what you'd like to see next in a, in a webinar. So if you guys, um, if you, if you have anything that you'd like to see in a webinar, please just throw it in as a question and we'll be sure to add that to our list if it's not already there. Um, it looks like we are getting a question here, but the hat situation. Um, okay. Yes. Um, Tommy, we can, we'll reach out to you after this. There are some uh, short codes that you can use. So Tommy just asked everybody, uh, how does a caller, uh, call taker pause call recording for credit card information? Uh, so that is another version of compliance, right? Uh, you're not supposed to store people's credit card information. If you are, you're out of compliance. Uh, so if someone is about to give you um, information, then what you need to do is pause that call recording and then start it again. Uh, we have some short codes for that. And, and I can see Kyle's type into you now. So he'll reach out to you after this. And, and we can get you trained on that. Um, back to Mike, back to the hats. All right. Um, so at, we, we've got these two different styles here. This is the good old fashioned trucker hat, a little slightly higher profile, slightly higher brim. Uh, we have these in, uh, in the Navy with the white back, the Navy with the Navy back. We also have some red with the white back. Um, and then uh, we also have this new hat that we've done, which we have in the black here that you're looking at. We also have it in like a blue and then an army green. These are the, uh, the uh, I don't know, we, I've heard them referred to as the hipster hats, um, even though one of our employees yesterday on this, uh, on our other webinar on this said that they're definitely not hip. Um, I would like to say that maybe he's not that hip, but um <laughs> So, you know, you got to be hip to no hip, right? Um, but so we have these hats. They have the little rope on them, uh, slightly different material. And again, slightly lower profile. So we're just wondering which of those, uh, which of those hats you guys think we should order next. And that is what our poll is on today. Oh, see, Kyle's hat is better. Uh, see, now that's the third hat. That's the one without the full logo. It just says the small logo and it says Vodacol on the back. It is all navy. Um, see, I, we didn't add that to the poll though. Maybe we need to have another poll, Kyle. Well, I know what happened. I'm sending so, to Tommy now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I bet you we have a couple of those laying around, so we can probably get you one of those. Um, so, um, so standard trucker or rope hat, by all means, please, uh, please fill it in on the poll. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll post, we'll send some results out to people and see how it went. Uh, we'd like to say thank you very much for joining us. I see a couple of thumbs up coming up there. That's wonderful. Uh, again, without uh, without our customers and without you guys listening and, uh, you know, they actually pay me to talk to people. That's what I do all day. Uh, so I'm really happy that you guys are here. And uh, Kyle, any last words? Nope. Uh, if you uh, have any additional questions, feel free to send a, an email to support at Vodacall.com and we'll schedule a time to uh, have a chat with you. Uh, here's some uh, links. These links can be found in our links tab of the um, in here in the webinar. And uh, again, just reach out if, uh, if you have any questions whatsoever. Yeah, and I don't know if you saw Fran's sad, uh, sad <laughs> emoji during the during the webinar, Kyle. But uh, Fran, when we reach out to you to talk about pausing for credit card information, um, we will go ahead and grab your address that you'd like a hat sent to as well. Um, so thank you guys for being here, and uh, we'll we'll speak with you all soon. Thank you very much. See you next month. Bye bye.